Besides being able to create new records as well as list them on the screen, the other common requirement is also to be able to carry these records in your database entities. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily implement a search function in our systems. So you're looking at my service studio. I'm inside a reactive web application that has one entity called customer and these attributes. I also have bootstrapped this entity with some sample data. What I'm going to do next is switch over to interface and create a new screen for implementing the search. Uh, the empty template is okay. I just have to give it a name, search. And thereafter, maybe a title would be good. Uh, we'll start off by adding an input field here. This is the one that users will use to type in their keyword. So I can tie it up with a new local variable that I'm going to call keyword, easy to refer. Uh, I can also put a prompt there, keyword, so people know what to do with it. Let's reduce the size of it to smaller. And then next to it, we can add a button. It goes in front, so I can use the widget tree to move the button back and then we can rename the button of course to search thereafter what we'll do is switching to interface again i will drag and drop the customer entity here which brings all the uh, list of customers from my entity and the query is here get customers on the page itself what i'm going to do next is double click on the search button and use refresh data select the query that platform built for me but this time around, we'll open it up to add the filter. So in this case, my query will be customer name, like, you can use a percent here, so that it can be anything. Keyword is here. If you have, if you have done any SQL queries before, you would know some of these things. And percent. Uh, that's it. Let's see if it works. I'm going to publish it, the application now. Almost ready. Let's launch it to test it out. So here's my search page. And if I give it a search keyword, maybe YT, it works. It shows me. Let me just verify white day. Okay, white day is here and white day is here. I think my query is working fine. Uh, in case I remove it and search, I do get all the data back. Now, in this case, I'm I'm having I'm, I'm forcing the user to click on the search button always, but I can also call this query as the user is typing this. To do this, let me go back to my service studio. And what I will do is the search the search that is triggered by the button. Is based on this button click search on click you can also call this function search on click by uh, when something is changing within this input field how to do that you see all of these input fields have a field called on change this event and here i can call the same function search on click with this i don't actually need this button to be there so let me just get rid of it and uh just to re uh, recap I have directly associated the uh, input change uh, event in the keyword in this keyword input box to call the same query. So it will automatically refresh whenever the input field is changed. Since I made a change, let me publish it again. By the way, as you've seen me doing the filters there, you can add any combination, use those logical operators and or to make your queries more complex and have more uh, corresponding fields on the screen for the user to test, I mean to select. So I'm launching it again. Now the search button is gone. And now if I type, okay, as you can see, as I type, the query is getting triggered. Okay, let me try something else. And then and I get the industry. So that's how you implement the search feature using our systems. Thanks for watching.